Hey guys, Sydney Trail Runner here. I am at Pace Athletic today with the guys. Uh, we're here to talk about one of the most daunting parts, which is getting the mandatory gear prepared for a race such as Ultra Trail Australia. Uh, so today we're, I'm going to take you through uh, all of the mandatory gear that you require. To start off, we're going to talk about the pack. Uh, today we have the Solomon Advanced Skin 12 litre. Uh, this is the probably most commonly used one for races like Ultra Trail Australia. Uh, the pack also requires two litres uh, of hydration or water. The most common ways are the 500 ml flasks and then in the back of the pack you'll have the bladder. So the next part of the mandatory gear and, and I guess is a common sense one is the food portions. It is important that you do have food on you. So two really good examples are the cliff bars. This is a good source of carbohydrates and it's just gonna help you in the instance that something goes wrong. So the next part of the kit is the thermal top. So to quickly go through these, these can actually be put in a glad wrap bag, um, which is great in the instance that you are running uh, the Australia Australia and on that day it's raining, it's gonna keep everything dry and it's gonna keep everything uh, safe so that should you need it, you can get to it easily. Now, the hot tip from the pace guys, on course there is an instance where you're gonna be stopped by um, safety crew so that they don't have to then unpack all of your, um, your sealed bags, is to have the tag or the label showing so that they can see, yes, this is a uh, high-vis vest or yes, this is a thermal top that meets the requirements. Uh, ultra runners would agree that are, are, are irrespective of whether they're mandatory or not are something that you should have on your person. Um, this being the gloves and the buff. Um, this is a great example. The North Face have um, these running gloves. They're very comfortable. They even have the touch pads on the fingers which allows you to utilize a smartphone should you need to. I think everyone that's a runner knows about buff. These things are incredibly comfortable. Um, they're also great if you're wearing the head torch at night because you're gonna be able to put the head torch around the outside of the buff and it's just gonna be a little bit more cushioned on your head. Up next on the mandatory gear list is the sealed jacket. For anyone that's running the 100K and you're gonna be running into the night, this is also gonna be really important. Um, the guys at Pace have a really cool jacket by uh, Salomon, which is the Bernati. This weighs a measly 190 grams and it actually packs into its own pocket. 190 grams. Up next on the mandatory gear list is the space blanket. Now, um, something to note, the Solomon packs actually come with the space blanket, so it's a great thing that you don't have to make that additional purchase. Um, it's pretty straightforward. This is gonna be something that gets you through the night or gets you through that emergency situation. Okay guys, so the final piece of equipment is the whistle. Now this comes as a part of the standard feature on the Solomon packs. Um, so you'll typically find it in the front pocket. Um, I hope this has given you a bit of insight into all of the uh, mandatory gear items and given you a little bit of, I guess, confidence in that it's not that daunting of a project. It's, it's really the easiest way to do it is to head down to the guys at Pace Athletic and just say to them, look, this is what I have, this is what I need. Go through that checklist and come UTA in May, you are gonna have an awesome day out on the trails and really enjoy it. Um, as always, keep running, see you on the trails.